Belinda here. <clears throat> so today I decided that um, I was going to put up the video for the resin. Now I have these numbers here which actually were um, 3D printed but I purchased them. I had to pre-order them. So I have uh, taken off my original tape which was you know just the um, the painter's tape and what I have put on the back now is some um, electrical tape because I know that my resin doesn't stick to electrical tape so I have gone ahead on a 30 this is a 30 centimeter round I have mixed up my resin it's a one-to-one -one ratio so that is it there and then I actually buy locally here in New Zealand so this is not a, a paid uh, promotional video right so I'm going to pour this on I did try and stick my numbers down just with a blob of very strong glue but it doesn't seem to have held so I'm just going to hopefully, hope for the best, that it actually doesn't move the numbers too much. Yeah, so as I said, I've got 100 moles here, so 50 and 50. Wow, the glisten and gleam, because I did add, um, in my paints, I added that, um, the medium to it. And it's actually shining so well already. So there's no silicone in my paints. So I didn't have to go ahead and wipe, do a major wipe down. And this resin is actually self-leveling. So I'm just spreading it around because I need to get it around as close to the numbers as possible really. Now I could have put my UV resin on to stick the numbers down, but <laughs> after I had put the numbers where they are, I um, didn't really want to move them because those, you know, you have to measure out where you're going to put them. Okay. So I'm just gently spreading that a little bit. And let me put some music to this guys because um, you might get a little bit bored. So I'm just going to use my finger and get that in around the edges. I'll go ahead and cover this and leave it. 
it probably for um, probably for about 12 hours to see how it goes. If it's dry enough, then we'll continue. Okay. So I'm going to cover this. And I'll see you for the next step. Okay guys, so um, this is all beautifully set and um, I'm going to drill through here, that will be where, let's hope I can get that in the right spot. As you can see, I have not taken my tape off yet. Right, so how do I take? So I just take my tape off like this. So you see how the resin. This is where the resin had uh, run. Now ordinarily you would have a hard time getting it off. So this is how easy it is. No heating the resin up. And it just pulls right off. So that would be a good um, tip for anyone who battles or struggles to get the back off. Right, so that is the electrical tape, which is really helpful, I find. Such a little bit of effort. Right, so let's get these out of the way. <clears throat> this is a silicone mat and um, yeah just uh, it's great look at that right off okay let me clear this away We can reassemble the clock. Right, so we have all the pieces. So I believe that goes like that. That would be the hanging doodad. Um, <clears throat> so that would need to go in first. Is that the wrong way? Yeah. Let's go that way. Put it in there. It's just a little bit of a tight fit. Make 
make sure it's the right way up. Cheeky guys, so this is um, all on. I'm not going to say it wasn't a struggle. Excuse the fingernails. You really need to um, sort that out pronto. So then we're going in with that hand, the smaller one. Our hand. The minute hand. And then the second hand. That's always a bit of a push. There we go. 